Okay, do you have a strict warm-up routine? Or are you more of a roll out of the car and onto the first tee kind of person? The way we warm up varies from golfer to golfer, perhaps more than anything else in the game. And so many golfers still don't understand the best way to do it, or if it actually matters. So we asked a handful of our golf top 100 teachers for their advice. Kevin Weeks, slowly build up to drivers. While everything is different, there's a huge difference between a warm-up session and a practice session. In a warm-up session, you're trying to do just that, prepare your body and mind for the upcoming round of golf. Generally, start with some wedges, making small swings and gradually increasing in speed and length as your muscles warm up. Keep this up until you get normal length and pace. This should take uh, five to 10 swings depending on your flexibility. After working up to full speed, hit some mid long irons and finally drivers. I like to see a player hit driver slow at first, then build up the speed gradually. As their confidence grows and they see their desired ball flight, they should increase the speed with the driver hitting them harder and harder. Once warmed up, I think it's, a, it's to a player's advantage to play the first hole or two on the range. Hit the tee shot they want and then the club they expect to hit it into the green. Always finishing the warm-up session with the well-struck shot using the club they will hit off the first tee. Brady Riggs, keep it short and sweet. Hitting balls before you play is a warm-up. Nothing more, nothing less. It's an opportunity to get loose, reaffirm a feel, and prepare both physically and mentally for the round. I prefer three to five balls with the wedge, short iron, mid iron, hybrid, and driver. That would total somewhere around 20 balls. To finish the warm up, I like to hit a few shots in full routine. This would be the drive and approach to the opening hole and the iron shot on the first part three. All told, the number is around 25 balls. The putting and short game should also be fairly scripted, so you should have a very good idea how much time you will need. Jonathan Yarwood, randomize your targets. There really isn't an optimal amount of balls to hit before you play. Some players stick to a certain amount on tour, but not many. The amount of balls you need to hit before you play should be guided by your mindset from an understanding of what a warm-up session actually is and what you're trying to accomplish. A pre-round range session is just a way to warm up the engine, that's all. So many players judge how they're going to play by how they hit it on the range in warm-up. I've seen tour players flush every shot on the range and then shank it on the course and vice versa, so the same applies to the club golfer. My advice would be to hit three or four balls with your odd numbered clubs, working through the set, paying little attention to how good or bad they are. Hit some with your routine and vary your targets as that is what you're about to do on the course. Save some balls for short game and putting and you should be all set. You might wanna hit a couple of extra here and there if you need to cling onto a swing thought or feel. So in summary, be flexible with the amount you hit. Understand it is a session to warm up the engine and nothing more. Hit some with your routine and randomized targets to get mentally prepared for what is coming. Kelly Stenzel, while it certainly depends upon the golfer and situation, I'd like to see a warm up include covering all shots the golfer may face as well as the families of clubs. When playing a course other than your own, Time on the putting green is a must to get a sense of the speed of the greens. Warm up on the range should include some pitch shots to warm up until there's a success in contact. Three to 10 shots and possibly some distance control. I like to see success with each family of club, including short iron, mid to long iron, hybrid, fairway wood, and driver for three to seven shots. I also like to see a few chip shots either on the range or next to the putting green. The goal is to have some success in contact prior to getting to the course to build confidence and avoid overthinking. Areas of lesser confidence may need a few extra balls to create positive feedback. So in my experience uh, with four years of competing, what I have done lately is I will play a lot of 30 yard shots because I know if I'm not hitting it straight 30 yards, then there's a big problem. Once I've hit it 30 yards straight about six times, I'll go up to 80 yards and then 100 with about four to five on each shot, five to 80, five to 100. And then I will move up maybe about three balls with my four iron and five iron uh, combined. And then I will only hit about seven driver shots. Yeah, and then if I am struggling at all, I always go back to 30 yard shots. Because once again, if you're not hitting it straight 30 yards, don't plan on hitting it straight 100 yards or 150 or 200 yards. So start really short first. Get that down and then build confidence going up with the clubs. Oh yeah, written by Luke Kerr-Denis. Voice Michael Robles.